Hey everybody, welcome back to Al's Homestead. Today's video, we're going to be talking about two things that you can do with your worm castings from your worm bin. Now the first and most obvious thing you can do with castings from your worm bin is feed them to your plants. So simply spread them around the plants. You don't have to worry about um, burning your plants as long as there wasn't any raw manure, animal manure that you had in your worm castings. Um, worm castings will not burn plants and they're some of the best food for your plants. I personally love to spread them around the base of my banana trees, my potted banana trees, and the banana trees love them since they're high in nitrogen. It got some micronutrients in there. Um, worm castings are pretty much like 100% or, well, not 100%, but close to 100% organic matter. And they're just high in nutrients for the plants. Now, you can also spread them around your uh, vegetable garden, either outside or inside or however you grow that. And your plants will say a big thank you. And what they're going to do, worm castings... Worm castings will hold on to water and release it as it is needed, and they're just great for any sort of plant. The second thing that you can do with your worm castings is make the world's most high-quality potting soil by simply mixing it with, you know, a handful of perlite, uh, which you can buy on Amazon or at garden centers or wherever. And that potting soil, as long as you, like, had good, high-quality worm castings that were finished, I guarantee you that's going to be probably the highest-quality potting soil you've ever used. It's going to grow strong, healthy plants. You can use it for seedlings in the spring or just for house plants or for plants that you grow in your house year-round. So, like, banana trees, which I guess you could consider house plants since I am growing them in my house year-round. But anyway... Um, just mix it with a little bit of perlite, which can be bought pretty cheaply, and there you go. You have some high-quality potting soil, and if you have a lot of worm castings, you won't have to worry about low-quality potting soil ever again, because most of it out there on the market available is pretty cheap quality. It's got a lot of peat moss in it, oftentimes, and it's, it's just not the best. But you, know, you won't have to worry about that with your own homemade potting soil. Um, I love using that. I have it under um, I have it under my grow light in some containers, and I'm growing right now leaf lettuce, um, beets, basil, um, a zinnia, and I'm also growing radishes under my grow light with the help of my own homemade potting soil. Thanks for watching. If you have any other uses for um, worm castings, there's a lot of useful ones. Comment them down below in the comment section so other people can see it and learn from it. If you have a lot of useful suggestions, I might pin your comment to the top of the comment section. So go and try to get your comment pinned. See you right back here in the next episode at Al's Homestead. Thank you everybody for watching. Oh, <laughs>